Hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX Avalanche. So it's currently following my count here. Um, the count is still as I had it yesterday in the video with an A wave down, B wave up. This looked very corrective. And now we're coming down quite impulsively and it looks like we've done here maybe a wave one to the downside of C. So the uh, leading diagonal, then a wave two up of C. Now we're in the three of C and should still come down a little bit lower in an ideal world, but we have now moved below the A wave low and we've hit the 38.2 retracement. Um, theoretically, it could now already react to it here. 1556 is a key support level here in this case, which is relevant for a wave four, actually the most frequent target for a wave four. Doesn't look entirely as if it's finished yet. Also, if I look at Bitcoin, I would still expect a bit lower. So the next support will be 1462. The problem that we have with this chart now, so I, I wouldn't do anything with leverage, I would be careful here, um, because it could be, and that's what I explained to you yesterday, it could very well be that this wave three um, ended already here, that we had the wave four actually here and the wave five here, that the top is already in the overall peak, and that we're not coming down in a wave four, but in a wave two. So from a strategic point of view, I would not be too aggressive here because it can be both and, and the probabilities are really close together. So I could say we are now coming down in a fourth wave, then it should stop at 1462. But if we are coming down in a wave two, so for example, if I say this topped here and it was a wave one and we're now coming down in a wave two, basically here, wave, uh, one second, wave one here, yeah, and this is a wave two also as an ABC, and again, probabilities are quite close together here because this wave four looks massive. Therefore, it could easily be a wave two as well. It, it's unclear. You know, you can't you can't really say it. We have enough waves for both. Um, but this could come down a bit lower. This could come down all the way. Doesn't make a, all the way here to twelve thirty one. Only below twelve thirty one. Um, only below 1231, this sort of gets invalidated, the one two setup. So it could be a wave four or a two. It's not entirely clear. It's therefore, strategically, because this support area theoretically can be quite large. Yeah, it could go down all the way to the 78.6 retracement. Yeah, therefore, I'd be careful with anything that's sort of leveraged here. Um, because what you're doing in this trade, let's say if you enter here, what you're doing, you're only catching the falling knife anyway. Yeah, I, I talked about that in some, some previous videos. Um, this is a catching the falling knife trade. So position sizing is important here. Managing risk as well. Therefore, you could either do nothing and wait until the price has turned and we see a small one two set up to the upside. Enter there. Then at least we have a, a confirmation that we are moving up. Basically something like that, a very small one two, And then you can trade that move up. Um, or you, you, you know, you, you basically dollar cost average into this area with a stop loss below 1231. That means you're quite far away from the current price. Um, but therefore only maybe small position sizes. Yeah. Don't, don't, I wouldn't be too aggressive here because there is uncertainty if it's a wave four or, or a wave two. I know everybody wants clarity, myself included. Um, but it's, it's unclear if I had to. My, my view is there's a good chance this is a wave four because Bitcoin is also, in my opinion, doing a wave four. So it should ideally stop above 1459, but of course I don't know the future, right? So I'm currently going with this, but it could also be a wave two. In both cases, it should reverse, yeah, as long as it holds the 1231 level. So it's very interesting now. Um, if it comes down for me, th that's why, you know, I might not do anything here. I might wait. Maybe if it goes to 1459, I will add a little, but I would not set the stop loss below the 50% retracement because it could also be a wave two and then I get stopped out and it reaches the 61.8 suddenly goes up. That would be annoying. Hope that makes sense. So, um, yeah, ma maybe I'll add a little at 1459 sort of for a swing trade and add the stop loss below 1231. Um, and then scale it. But there's some some good opportunities at the moment. There's some nice coins that are sort of in these support areas at the moment. Um, BNB as well. I think Polkadot. We'll take a look. I'll I'll take a look at all these charts. 
But um, if we take a look at what is actually the ideal target for the C wave, then we take a, uh, a look at the length of the A wave, go to the high of the B wave, and then we can see, yeah, we reached a one-to-one -one ratio. We reached the first target at 1552. So, you know, that, that strong support. If we go down, the next key target would be the 1.38 extension at 1446 and then the 1.618 at 1380. So ideally it doesn't go below 1380, which means the 61.8 retracement here at 1365 should also be a strong support. Yeah, it's getting interesting. All of these are support levels. Um, I think this move down isn't over yet. It doesn't look finished, but we've already reached, you know, we've, we've done the minimum, what we need to do on the way down. Also with the wave C, we've come below the low of the A wave. It's, it's all getting interesting now. So it's time to observe this. I think... Um, the move down currently looks corrective as well. Yeah, overall this entire structure, not this, this looks impulsive, but this is no surprise because there would be a C wave, but the whole structure here, A, B, C with that high, um, lower high, all of that looks corrective. Well, certainly interesting, I'll keep you updated. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.